We're at Stanmore Tube Station. It is a very cold January night. Last year, on one of the hottest days of the year, I travelled on various forms of public transport to see how hot the temperature gets. So today, we are going to ride the full length of the Jubilee Line and see how the temperature changes and see if it gets hotter and is more pleasant underground. So our 27-stop journey from Stanmore to Stratford looks like this. But let's also add in this shaded area, showing where the Jubilee Line is actually underground, where it should be warmer, right? We placed our thermometer down and noticed that from being outside, where it was 3.9 degrees, it was already 6 degrees just inside the carriage. And we're off. And then we made a note of the temperature at each stop. Uh, we're coming into Cannons Park and um, 7.6. This is still not warm. At Webley Park, though, the train stopped for a whole minute to change drivers, which let in a load of cold air. We're at Wembley Park, it's 9.3 degrees, but we're being held with the doors open. Excellent. So I'm expecting that to start dropping, and my breath is misting in a tube carriage. That's just great. But the temperature remained constant until Finchley Road, where the Jubilee Line goes into a tunnel. So we're just leaving Finchley Road, which means that we're going into the tunnels. The temperature's been 9.3 for ages, but if we're going underground, hopefully it should start to warm up and I might be able to take my gloves off. Now our carriage at the rear wasn't that busy. We're betting that a carriage full of people would obviously be hotter, but we carried on. We're just pulling into Baker Street, which means that we've hit zone one. Uh, it is 9.9 .9 degrees. We are very close to the very exciting double digits. And as if by magic, just a moment later, while still in the Baker Street platforms, it did indeed get warmer. The temperature crept up slowly, station after station, and at Canning Town, the Jubilee Line comes back out into the open again. Would there be an immediate sharp drop in temperature? So we've just left North Greenwich, where uh, quite a lot of people got off. Um, it has just hit 13 degrees, uh, but we're now about to come out of the tunnel, so it'll probably start to cool down again. The cold air did hit us, but surprisingly the temperature stayed the same for two stops until we got to the end of the line. We've arrived at Stratford. Uh, what have we learned in our rigorously scientific experiment? Well, it definitely gets warmer as you go into the tunnels, as you would expect. Um, it's very late at night, so maybe uh, it would be warmer in rush hour, more bodies. Maybe some lines are warmer than others. Maybe it's warmer going in one direction than the other. Who knows? All I know is that I'm going home because I'm freezing.